All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an integrated interface package. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision. So subscribe to learn more. Check out my playlist on computer vision using AI, OpenCV in Python, ROS2, Git, Python, C++, SolidWorks, mechanical design, and here's my GitHub that follows along with it. So this is good if you want to combine a custom interface with your package containing other things. So we're gonna go ahead and create our package and make a MSG folder. So here we're gonna run these steps here. You're gonna CD into it and then a ROS2 package create. And then we're gonna make a message folder. So if we look at here, we're gonna have a more an interfaces uh, folder here into our, in our source folder. And then you can see we have our MSG folder. And then we're gonna create a add address book MSG file inside. We're gonna copy the contents. So here we're gonna add a file, we're gonna call it address book.msg. So here we're gonna go ahead and paste our address book msg. And then here in our CMake list, we're gonna our CMake list and package.xml. Let's go ahead and take a look at the changes that we need to make. So here in our package. Dot XML, we have updated these three lines here, the ROS IDL default generators, the default runtime, and the interface packages. And inside our CMake, um, the things that we're changing now is um, everything here is new. So here we're gonna have, um, we're gonna find our packages. We're gonna set the variable message files. This right here will generate our address book.hpp. And then we're going to add it to our executables, set up our install targets, and then uh, do some of our linking. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy these two files. We're going to update it in our uh, more interfaces. We're going to delete these two, and then we're going to replace it with our uh, new files here. So I'm going to paste it. Those are our new files. Okay, so after we do that, um, we're gonna add one more thing, the publish address book.cpp. So if we take a look at that, um, this is gonna be our main CPP file. So if we take a look at this, we could see how we're gonna be testing this. So here is called the address book publisher. This is gonna be um, inherited from the node. So here we have a create publisher. We have a publish message that we get. This publish message will come from our address book. So we have the name, the last name, phone number, phone type, and all that stuff. So that's, that's, a, that's what we just created earlier, the type of uh, message that we're dealing with. It's gonna see out the message. And then we have a timer, the create wall timer. These are our private variables, the shared pointer for the timer, as well as the book publisher. And then here we run our init spin and shutdown to get everything up and running. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this file and put it inside of our source folder. And then we could go ahead and try to build this now. So after we put it in, we're gonna go to our terminal and then we're gonna go into our ROS folder, uh, Colcan build, and then we're gonna source it and run it. So this what this will do is gonna build our package and the source install will allow us to find our um, publish address book uh, node that we created, and then we could go ahead and run this. So after a few seconds of building, it's gonna finish, and then you can see it's outputting the summary of the contact name, as we can see here. And we can also verify the topic is being published to the address book. If we go to another folder, another terminal, and run source, and you can see that it's outputting, echoing first name, last name, phone number, phone type. Okay, so in my next video, I'm gonna talk about parameter package in C++. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.